After 30 years of cutting, colouring and pampering, Saks Hair & Beauty now has a formidable high street presence. With over 100 salons around the UK, Saks caters for a predominantly female clientele aged between 25 to 55 who want more than just a simple haircut. 90% of salons offer beauty treatments and more cutting-edge clinical services like Botox and teeth whitening. All team members, including stylists and therapists, are trained at Saks Academies to a high standard to ensure the continuing success of the brand. Franchise recruitment used to be mainly from the hair and beauty industry, but its latest drive is aimed at people from all walks of life. I believe hairdressers only ever want two things out of their career. They either want to be recognised for their artistic skill, i.e. they want to be involved in photo shoots for magazines, they want to be on TV, um, they want to be a celebrity hairdresser, etc. Or somebody wants to own their own salon and have their own business. A company like ours provides both if someone takes the Saks brand on, then first of all you've got the, the name which is a recognised name out there. Uh, it's a household name and people, whether it's staff or clients, want to come along and be associated with it. For me, when I, when I started out in business, um, I was only 21, um, which was great in the respect of achieving something at, at that young age. In some ways, um, like any business, you make mistakes. The, the nice thing about being part of a franchise is there are people there to guide you through those mistakes. Once people have made the decision they want to open a business, they've then got to decide how they're going to do it. The, the one option is to do it yourself. The other is to go into franchising. Now, most people who come along to see us have looked at the other option first, and then they think, oh, how am I going to sort myself out as far as marketing? I've got no recognised name out there. Uh, staff, you know, I need to train them. Why would employees come to me because, you know, I'm, I'm only new? So it just goes on and on, and it's so difficult that people eventually come to the, the uh, conclusion that it would be easier uh, to get a franchise on board. Buying into a Saks franchise isn't particularly cheap. However, Saks clearly has a good relationship with the banks, some of which will lend up to 70% of the total cost. And the company say they offer a great support network for franchisees throughout their contract. I think you're part of something bigger. Um, I think that you're part of a, a brand, you're part of a network. Um, you can open a, a prestigious site in a, um, a main shopping area of a, um, a large town or city uh, and instantly um, have an impact. Um, I come to Saks because it's just really friendly. Um, I live up the road but there's huge competition in Brighton but um, I just find that um, the staff get on really well here. I like the way Mark cuts my hair. The staff are very friendly. Certainly if I come to have my colour done, you're sitting here for hours and hours on end. So it's really nice that the staff is so nice. They don't talk you into anything you don't want to do. They ask you exactly what you want and you get really looked after. To sum everything up with franchising, you've got to take the concept and, and run with it for what it is, not try and make it something else. People with a, a marketing or business or management background uh, are becoming more and more suitable to take on a Saks franchise because it's, it is a, it's a big business now. It surpassed initially my ultimate goal of owning a hairdressing salon. So, if you like the idea of running a Saks hair and beauty salon, franchises start from £80,000 plus VAT. For details, contact them at franchise at saxhairandbeauty.com or call them on 01325 380 333.